Imagine a world millions of years after evolution. This is a new chapter within the story of the dinosaurs. Our modern world is home to an ecosystem of different creatures. Now their future is prehistoric. Welcome back to the American landscape. It is morning in spring, and the landscape can turn life around. Giants from the Jurassic are here too, like the iconic Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus is iconic species, like this skeleton called Sophie at London's Natural History Museum. In life, Stegosaurus has a long neck with plates in two rows, with a long downcurved tail tip called a thagomizer which is pointed horizontally. In genetic evolution, the Jurassic World Stego grows much larger in size with a short neck different shaped teeth and with the spiked tail pointed in a different way compared with its accurate ancestors. Stegosaurus has plates on its back for display for females and used for defense from predators like Allosaurus and Ceratosaurus which is used to make the appearance of the animal to look much bigger, to make predators nervous. When it comes to animals like Stegosaurus, we're showing a good example of how a dinosaur would defend themselves. This is Spike the Stegosaurus. And let me show you the great examples of this animal. So, the common features of Stegosaurus are these rows of nice plates. And those plates are made out of a material called keratin. Keratin is replaceable on the beaks and crests of different variety of animals from flying reptiles like pterosaurs and dinosaurs like T-Rex which has had keratin crests on their heads and the crests and beaks of modern day birds like the cassowary for example. What's the difference between the keratin on prehistoric creatures and modern animals is the different styles that goes along with different creatures. And also on the Stegosaurus's plate is the armoured type of structure that goes along with these plates and the interesting thing that is made out of another material called osteoderms. The osteoderms are a great example of armoured scaling of different creatures from from creatures like crocodilians or crocodiles and armoured dinosaurs as well. And one of those great examples are the ankylosaurs, like ankylosaurus. <laughs> Ankylosaurs are armored dinosaurs. They are covered in armored plates across their body from head to tail. Some ankylosaurs evolved a tail club that can break through bone from different predators. The evolution of armored dinosaurs starts at the early Jurassic period. When dinosaurs like this started, this animal is called Celidosaurus that lived at 191 million years ago. When we look into the bones of this dinosaur, it is covered by osteoderms, which is used to protect this creature from predators. 
In evolution, ankylosaurs evolved different types of armor, including different features of different animals. This is a picture of a creature called the Edmonta. And what's interesting about this creature, it has these spikes coming from its body and we can also see different types of osteoderms in its body and we've seen this in other ankylosaurids like Sauropelta, the Mimimi, Euphilocephalus and basically when it comes to like other dinosaurs as well. So in conclusion that different varieties of dinosaurs will have evolved into these niches from the process of evolution by it's the stegosaurus it's in the Jurassic and the Ankylosaurus in the Cretaceous. Here stegosaurs are much different to the armored ankylosaurs. A small herd of Stegosaurus is grazing until they see this. A large herd of the same species is looking for a forest for their food. Dinosaurs like Stegosaurus eat they're quite different from any other dinosaur. So, in this picture, we feel the insides of a Stegosaurus. You can see all of the bones and the internal organs of this dinosaur and what's interesting is that inside of its stomach are stones and that is called gastrolus which means stomach stones we see gastrolus in use in other different species of dinosaurs and other creatures as well What Stegosaurus does in its diet is to swallow stones to find and eat. Then the stones in their stomachs help the animal chew their food in the stomach. When we look at the inside of a Brachiosaurus, we see the organs of the sauropod dinosaur with the gizzard of the Brachiosaurus with gastroliths inside the gizzard. In the documentary series Prehistoric Planet, there is a plicer named Tuarangosaurus gathers in groups to find gastroliths and swallow them and find a chance to mate with the males. That's the same thing with modern birds. Like doves they find small stones to find food and helps with their unchewed food. When the dinosaurs are around, modern wildlife is always around in the ecosystems of North America. It is nighttime. The Stegosaurus is grazing at night. And some adults have their babies. The little ones are targets for predators, so they had to stay close to their parents in order to be safe from carnivores. The herd is watched by a predator, their old enemy. Allosaurus. And this is the enemy of the Stegosaurus. The Allosaurus. 
Allosaurus was the T-Rex of the Jurassic period. It was a dangerous monster to Stegosaurus and other dinosaurs and can cause possible injuries to Allosaurus from the tail spikes of Stegosaurus. The Allosaurus has been following the scent of the herd of Stegosaurus with their babies, and the predator always follows its prey. This predator is not alone. It is being followed by a pack of South American dinosaurs, called Carnotaurus. And also, where our stegosaurus is at, there's also different varieties of predators, like this creature, the Carnotaurus. And what's interesting is that this dinosaur was originally at a place in South America where creatures like Carnotaurus may have lived, because in the Jurassic World franchise, People have seen lots of sightings of different species of dinosaurs living in different parts of the world. That statement is true. In Jurassic World Dominion dinosaurs are being seen at different nations of the world with a lot of iconic species from giant sauropods to the armored beasts of the Jurassic. This is a giant pterosaur called Quetzalcoatlus. This flock is circling around a dead carcass. This is the perfect place for Allosaurus to go hunting, inside the tall grass. The Allosaurus has won a carcass of a young Triceratops eaten by the Quetzalcoatlus. In the life of this creature in the Jurassic period, Allosaurus would eat Stegosaurus, Diplodocus, Dryosaurus, and other dinosaur species. The giant Asdarkid pterosaurs are nearby the carcass. The question is, did Allosaurus had injuries with dinosaurs like Stegosaurus? Allosaurus is a dinosaur that lives along with Stegosaurus. This is a picture of an injury from Allosaurus. Over here we see the hip bones of Allosaurus with a huge hole inside of the hip. And if we take the phagomizer of Stegosaurus, it can easily fit in the hole where the Allosaurus may have been injured. We see a lot of this in different varieties of predatory dinosaurs having different relationships with their prey. 
the herbivorous dinosaurs. One of those great examples is Howard T-Rex and Triceratops when get along in the Cretaceous and at the same time different predators from different parts of the globe would use different defenses to survive in different attacks from different predatory dinosaurs. In different ways of the survival of Stegosaurus, we look into the life of this creature by the way of defense and diet of this dinosaur. The plates of Stegosaurus has another use. This is the Stegosaurus. And what's interesting is that when it comes to things like the phagomizer, they would use their tails to swing up and down and up and down. But on here, this is an example of heat recognition when it comes to the plates. They use those plates not only for display to attract the females, it's also to attract heat from its body from things like the sun. One hot day, the Stegosaurus herd is chilling and grazing in the hot sun, which affects their plates, which is controlling their body temperature. In a nearby forest, the alpha male Stego is forging food in the trees, but he is not alone at this moment. The alpha's son is here eating his favorite type of grass. He will continue the next generation of Stegosaurus in his herd. Other dinosaur species is grazing different types of vegetation as their food. But where? The alpha and baby stego is at a dangerous place for themselves. The Allosaurus is nearby, and guess what he's after this time? The baby Stegosaurus. He is in dangerous trouble with this predator. He's have eyes on his target. The alpha male stego can controls the blood to his plates, can create a scary display of color to his body with his skin tone. As for his baby, he is hiding in the bushes and the tall grass to hide from the allosaurus. Stegosaurus tail spikes are powerful. It can knock out and kill a Ceratosaurus.
Time has passed. The seasons has been changing in the ecosystem. Dinosaurs has started to adapt to the climate. At the same time, modern animals started to coexist it with the creatures of the past. Now, the dinosaurs started coexist it with the world of wildlife. And now our world is getting started with coexist it with these incredible creatures. One thing is certain, that Jurassic World Stegosaurus is more alive in our world. We've seen the science, defense, and the anatomy of this dinosaur. People from around the world have seen dinosaurs doing natural ways of their survival after millions of years with modern evolution. The Stegosaurus moves on with both life and people in the circle of life.